When I was doing VFX on Star Trek Voyager and Deep Space Nine, someone came into our office to demo some fancy new 3D scanning hardware. This was the first time I ever saw a 3D scan in my own head. I still have it. It looks a bit janky, but you gotta remember, this was the late 1990s. And so here we are in 2022, and I'm older, so I thought I'd use Synthize to do a new scan of my head. And truth is, when I was VFX supervising on set, I do this with actors all the time. It's basically a set survey of an actor's head. So today, I thought I'd show you how to make a head scan in Synthize so you could do your own. First step is supervised 2D tracking, which I've already done. But if you want to dig deeper into supervised 2D tracking, just watch my earlier supervised tracking tutorials. For this, I was only trying to get the minimal number of supervised trackers to help the auto tracker, which I'll talk about in a minute. To do the 2D tracking though, I color corrected the footage to create a super high contrast version to really accentuate all of my skin imperfections, which makes me look like I have some serious health conditions. But it does make the tracking easier. Next is auto tracking, which starts with Roto. I just want to limit the auto tracked features to within the silhouette of my head. But I'm also not going to bore you with watching me Roto either. Do note, however, that the Roto spline is set to camera and not garbage. I'm telling Synthize to only consider the image inside the Roto shape. Next step is the auto tracking. Want to know more about auto tracking? Just go to my auto tracking tutorials. Are you using the custom meshes feature in Synthize yet? Because I think you really should. The head model in this scene is just a custom mesh I made with MakeHuman and modified in Blender. I can now just select it in the 3D room under the pull down menu for what mesh I want to make. Then with the whole button activated, I align the track to the head for a best fit. I did a whole tutorial about this in 2016, where I talked about how using the smudge tool is like that scene with Austin Powers trying to turn his cart around in the narrow hallway. So I'm just going to show you a super fast time lapse here. If you want to know more about the smudge tool, go to that soft tracking tutorial from 2016. I'll put a link below. This is my favorite part, and really why I made this video the texture panel. But to use it, our head object needs UVs. So I just brought my head into Blender and laid out some UVs. Then I exported the mesh as an OBJ file. Then I re-import that into Synthize. I select the object and hit the texture panel button. I have to click the Create Texture checkbox and set up a save directory with a file name for this new texture. You have a choice between Best Pixel and Average Pixel. I find average pixel gives the best results usually. I definitely want blocking selected, but for that and all other controls, I'm just going to say, read the user manual. After all that, I just have to hit run. Very cool, right? But also kind of creepy. Remember when I selected blocking on my object? Well, I was getting some weird texturing where the camera could see through my eye holes and projected my eyes onto the back of my head. So I had to make another blocking object inside my head, which is a lot like my actual head. There are areas to patch in the texture map, but you can do that with the painting tools in your favorite 3D software. And you can minimize those by doing multiple survey passes to deal with occlusions, just like you'd do if you were capturing LiDAR. Okay, that's it for this one. If any of you make head scans of your own, I'd love to see them. In my last video, I mentioned putting up my PayPal link, and a few of you sent a little cash. And as promised, I put that into making this video today. So if you like this or any of my other videos, maybe drop a couple bucks into the tip jar. And I always love to read your comments, so let me know what you think. Until the next one, happy head scanning.